Welcome back Shard of Glass family. Today we're looking at the Queen of Greed, which is probably one of the most popular looks I've done so far. And it's really easy to do, let me show you. So, of course, I'm starting off with my base, and I'm using sort of a lighter coverage than what I normally would, and powder that down nice and thoroughly. And then we're going to start with my liner. I'm using the Mayron Paradise Paint in black because there's a lot of liner in this look. I'm not wearing it out, so I thought rather than use up loads of eyeliners, I'll just use face paint because I've got an absolute ton of it. Ignore the silver, the copper in my lids, just ignore that for now. I'm done my wing liner as I normally would and then I'm sort of cutting the crease where my natural eyebrow begins and then because that wasn't, my, my eyebrows started to crack, um, I just filled the image liquid liner because the paint didn't really sink into the holes just to make sure it's nice and opaque. Then I'm taking an eyelash glue and applying that in the negative space between all of my eyeliner. I'm taking Max Gold Glitter and really thickly pack that in there. See a little bit better there, but just keep working small sections because the eyelash glue will dry and drive you nuts. But if you work in small sections, it's going to make it a lot easier to do, and that way you won't just end up with eyelash glue everywhere. I'm just going to tight line and waterline my eyes with NYX Black Bean Pencil. It's lovely. I also filled in my inner corners with El Dorado Liquid Liner by Urban Decay. Um, line your lips with any lip pencil you want. It doesn't need to be perfect or any particular colour, only because it's just sort of an outline for now. Um, this is the sort of bit that was highly requested on me to show you how to do, so I'm going to try and break it down and make it as easy as possible. So basically, outline your lips. Then you need three liquid lipstick colours. First off, I'm starting to use really light pink, and I'm going to apply that on the outside, avoiding my outline still, but I'm applying that as a base on the outside all around my lips. Matte liquid lipsticks, I think, work best for this. You just use what you have. Then I'm taking my mid-tone shade, which is a slightly more purple, and I'm going to apply that sort of in the transition between where that pink started and not quite all the way in the middle but nearly there and then blend that all together with your fingers or you can just rub your lips together. I did go over with my fingers. It will look crazy to begin with. Then I took my darkest colour and applied that in the centre of my lips only to begin with. Now depending on what type of look you want, you could leave it like that and do true crystal lips but because this is sort of a drag look, I wanted there to be some shapes. So I then extended the darkest purple up and blended that into the other colours so I still had a defined lip shape as that's the look I wanted. And then for the crystals, the safest way I thought of doing it was with sugar. Don't do this, what I'm doing now. In the final photos you can see what I actually did. But I applied a ton of Max Mixing Medium on my lips and then I dipped my finger in a bowl of sugar and just pressed it into my lips. And this gave the best effect. That was me mixing lip gloss and sugar and it didn't work so great. Easy as that. Not as difficult as what you think. And then I'm just outlining my lips with Urban Decay's El Dorado Liquid Liner, which is a metallic gold. I used quite a few layers to this to get the intensity that I wanted. And it's as easy as that. And I adore the look. It tastes good though, so don't expect it to stay on all night if you're going out with it on. Moving on to my cheeks. Very simple cheek this time. I'm using Sugar Pills Flame Point Eyeshadow as a contour. As you can see, my eyebrows are starting to crack. I tried using a new technique this time, but it didn't really work. So I'm just making the rest of the face really intense to make the attention come away from that. Now I'm taking a metallic powder, mixing it with the mixing liquid that you can get with it. This is Mayron's bronze one, and I'm going to start to apply my glitter tears. Well, these are sort of my metallic tears because I have no heart and it's made of stone. So I'm just sort of glowing from the eyes because I don't cry real tears and I'm just sort of doing two strokes you can go as ham as you like with this you can make it crazy I just wanted to keep it somewhat subtle because now I'm picking that mixing medium again that I've just used on my lips and dabbing that all over where my natural dark circles would be and then I'm taking the gold glitter we used on our eyelids and a 3D black as well by MAC and I'm just going to start to apply that and go absolutely crazy with that glitter and sort of run it all the way down my face. So if you do get fallout when you're doing the gold originally on your eye, don't clear it up under your eyes because that'll just save you a job later on. And as you can see it gives a really nice metallic sheen 
which sort of looked kind of teary to me, so I thought that looked cool. I'm just doing a little nose contour now with Fawn by Anastasia. Nice and subtle, nothing special. And then I believe this is the colour Java from that same kit, and I'm just going to do a very light sort of wash of contouring, nothing too extreme because I wanted to focus on the highlight because I'm supposed to be glowing in this video. So I'm taking Benefits High Beam and a shit ton of that as well and bend, blend that in with your booty blender and you will be glowing for the gods. Because my eyebrows started to crack I wanted to sort of change it up a bit so I actually took Blackout Shadow by Urban Decay and blended this through where the top crease line is because I didn't want to have nasty cracked eyebrows because I didn't think it looked nice. And it's as easy as that. I adore this look. It's so easy, but it looks so striking and effective, which is really fun. And you can change it up with whatever colours that you like as well. So I hope you enjoy this. I had lots of fun doing this one. My wig is from Lush Wigs once again. And my nails, my amazing smoking nail, which you will see in just a moment, is by Vi, unicornspoopdickclitter.com. Check her out. Show her some love. And... I will see you in the next tutorial where things are going to get even crazier from here on out. The closer we get to Halloween, the crazier it's getting. Speak to your soul.